Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here at Iberostar Selection in Cancun, and we're here at the Coral Level, which is kind of the upscale resort within a resort. And this is really one of the first FAM trips for travel advisors uh, that has gone out. And I'm here with Mabel Rodriguez, who is with uh, uh, Ruby's Travel, uh, who's based in New Jersey, but you are actually in Staten Island. We're going to talk to uh, Mabel a little bit about her experience because unfortunately she's leaving today. I just got here, so I don't know anything about the resort. You're going to have to tell me uh, what's the best part of it, and you're going to find out all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Mabel, first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Ruby's Travel. Ruby's Travel is a home based in Wayne, New Jersey. I've been working for Ruby's Travel for five years. This is my second career. I enjoy uh, doing vacations for people and booking vacations with them one-on-one um, -on -one basis. That's the difference between a travel agent and a agent online. Okay, and, and how long have you been a travel advisor? Uh, five years. Five years. And obviously now, is this your first uh, FAM trip back? No, this is the, oh, from after. For after COVID. Yeah. Oh, yes, this is our first, um, yes, it is. Yeah, no, and it's, uh, so, so here we are at the coral level. Uh, tell me a little bit about this so I can try to experience it on my own. Uh, uh, what's your, what, what are some of the highlights of this resort in, in your experience? Okay, so the highlight on this resort is very safe. Um, the staff and the Ibero Stars really doing a good job um, implementing the safety measures that they have. The staff is wearing their masks, they have the disinfectant um, liquid at all stations. Uh, the buffet is not um, self-service. Yeah, no, I, did. I actually had, that's the only food I've had so far is the buffet and it was it was plexiglass. Covered, covered with plexiglass, which is a very good thing. And so there's no mistakes and someone breathing over the food. The rooms are very inviting. I love the colors, it's the turquoise. Um, well, maybe because we're in the coral section, but it's a lot of turquoise. The room is white. The pillows are very comfortable. And then they got that big coral design in the back, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we've already tried. I've just seen that. Okay. No, they're beautiful rooms. It's a fairly new resort. Uh, and we are, you know, in Cancun on a great beach, right? Yeah, the beach is very nice. The, they clean. At 5.30, 6.30 in the morning, they are out there sweeping the, the beach and cleaning the sands. Uh, they're out there cleaning the pools, they're disinfecting all the chairs, they're um, spraying all the golf carts, they really are doing a great job. So I'm, I'm not afraid, I'm really safe. Now what was your favorite dining experience uh, from all the restaurants here? So I've eaten in all the restaurants except for the hibachi because it wasn't available, but my favorite was the Italian. Yeah, the Alfredo creamy spaghetti was delicious. And I think they have a Mexican, they have a steakhouse, they have a American bistro. Uh, they got a lot wide selection, plus sort of that buffet we mentioned earlier, which is the only thing I've, I've tried so far. Uh, so, and it was all in your, you felt very safe and the food was good. It's very safe, very, uh, the food was very tasty. Um, actually, there was one of the young girls that we're with and she did not like she didn't want anything on the menu, and they actually accommodated, and they they uniquely made something for her. So she asked for um, pasta with penny and and vegetables, and they made it for her. It wasn't something that was on, the, so they accommodated her. That's great, and they are very accommodating here and very welcoming. I mean, I've felt that way, and even previous visits before COVID, that the the Mexican staff uh, at all these wonderful resorts is really great. Now, who would you recommend this resort to for your clients? I would recommend, I have a, a big clientele and I have um, folks that like to party and I have folks that like to just relax. I would send my clients that want to relax, put their hands on, you know, and feet in the sand and just really have the relaxing of the um, experience because although they may not do a spa treatment, but this hotel includes the spa treatments uh, not the spa massage but all the amenities in the spa they can use it have you tried it yet the spa not yet okay. not yet and you're leaving today though right? no i'm leaving tomorrow five in the morning oh so you won't get a chance so you have to come back right uh, exactly that'll be a perfect excuse so was this a pretty good uh first fam trip post covid yes uh, yes and it was very good the airplanes were fine the airports were fine and this resort was amazing. It yeah, really so you is. Were talking that earlier with your colleague Lenore about how you know the the, the whole airline experience was, was good, the airport experience was good, and then it's not that far to get to from from the airport from here. No, it's about it's in the very beginning when you come out of the airport, you're going up north, so you are like 10 minutes away from the airport, 10-15 minutes. 
If you go down south, it's going towards Rivera Maya, but this resort is in a great location. And it's also, again, on a beautiful beach with pools and uh, all the facilities. Well, Mabel, thank you very much for telling us a little bit about that. You're giving me some clues about what I got to enjoy the next few days, uh, but it's great that you're back uh, doing these fam trips and really exploring these properties for your clients. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I am James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.